Welcome to Movie Bitch. I don't know. That wasn't movie great. Witches. Witches. Oh, Samantha. I don't know. I feel like she was always just um. Ugh, that Darren. Oh, very well, Dennis. <laughs> Darren, mother. Oh. Oh, of course. Ugh, that Darren. Ugh, honestly. Ugh. Oh, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but we want to live normal lives. What is normal to you, young man, is to us asinine. That is kind of like the male version of a Karen. A Darren, right? <gasps> I Ugh, love it. You're such it. a Darren. That's very. T I love it. Also, it's great because it rhymes with Karen. It's everything is running on all cylinders, and it's great. Great, love it. And it's like an old reference that no one will get. I no love one will it. get. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Trademarked here. Yeah. But anyway, welcome to Movie, Movie Witches. Witches. Woo! We couldn't not do it. Yeah, we almost it almost got kicked off the roster, but I, I told Andrew, I said, well, you got to watch it, and we'll, you decide. Oh, well, you know, you really buried the lead. Well, first of all, tonight we were talking about... The best way to watch... Teen Witch. Teen Witch. Is to go in not knowing anything? To just be like, just watch, just, just just watch, watch Teen it. Witch. I don't, and the poster it gives you nothing. Nothing. The poster's like, Wee! you know, it's like, what is this, Sabrina? Yeah, I, I had no idea... I will say, Brian and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would say go watch it. Um, oh, yeah. If you have not seen Teen Witch, it is a classic bad movie. Yeah. And it really... It's not bad. Uh, has it... Well, okay. Um, okay. Are you kidding? I'm so embarrassed. Look at how funky he is. I mean, in a good way, but... Okay, I'm excited. I mean, I love it. You're talking to someone who likes Halloween Town unironically. Okay, well, there you go. There you go. So there's, you can either enjoy Teen Witch ironically or unironically. It works in both, both Venn right. diagrams. Yeah. So I would say go see it. Spoiler alert, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to talk about all of the details, including, first and foremost, you did not tell me, it's a musical. <laughs> I don't know if it knows it's a musical. I mean, you right? know, I mean it, um, but, but first things first. Oh yes. First things first. <laughs> I'm really here yeah. for it to have a musical revival on stage. Oh, I see. And then. Um, guess what? <laughs> are they doing it? There's one at the Groundlings. I love it. And then I want a series on like Amazon or whatever, where it's like Teen Witch, the musical series. Is it set in the 80s? Yes. Why not? if we could recreate the insanity of this film the unbridled i don't know what this movie is yeah fair um, but actually first things first right shout out to our patreon supporters five dollars a month gets you ad free early access ten dollars gets you access to our viewing parties like i said brian and i really did have a, a great time i was constantly in shock just that, yes. what it is no a, <laughs> a rap Oh no. No. Yes. Oh! <laughs> Top that. Top that. It star- okay, wait, but second thing second. Thing second. second. Oh my god. Make sure to subscribe. Yes. Share. Ho! Oh. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd. TikTok, we're having fun. Everyone, TikTok really liked our 9021, uh, TikTok really liked our Melrose Place montage that Avril made for for the craft. Just, I like that like that uh, those have absolutely nothing. I love that it was except just Except for Spanish Revival you know, California California house architecture. I was just now that you mentioned 90210. I mean I was just thinking about how I also watched that um as a child with my family because it was it was a back to back. They right. aired back to back. Right. That's why my brain went and to I both still, of them. And yeah. I, I still have a visceral memories of Dino Two when I was scarring, not scarring. I mean, it was great. I mean, drama, it was dramatizing. It was dramatizing. Dramat I like that. <laughs> it was dramatizing in a different way. Okay, great. Oh, I love this. Dramatizing, Instead of traumatizing, yeah. dramatizing. Yeah, we are coming up with words and phrases and left all and right. Sorts of great ideas. I'm. Well, this is a. This is the one's a banger. That one's going into the vernacular. Okay, yeah, dramatizing. I really like it. And a Darren. And a Darren. Oh God, you're yeah. oh, such a Darren. Ugh. Brenda, how could you? 
You said you hated it. You called it cheap and tacky. You said you weren't gonna buy it. Well, I changed my mind. Well, you'll just have to go change. No, you're gonna have to go change. Brenda, I am a spring princess. Kelly. Kelly, can't you ever stop thinking about guys for one second? I mean, there is more to life. Sounds like it's that time of the month. Well, it is. And it isn't, if you know what I mean. Dylan, what if I'm pregnant? Then I'll do everything I can to help you and support you. Brent, it's my problem, too. Well, it doesn't feel that way. Oh, my God! Donna, I can explain. There's nothing to explain. I understand. I understand everything. Donna! Donna! Donna, wait! Just come on, damn it! Stop yelling at me! I am not a bimbo, okay? Whatever you say, Kelly. But I was always taught that if it looks like a duck and it walks like a duck, go to hell. Excuse me. Well, there's no need to worry because you don't have AIDS. In fact, you're perfectly healthy. What a relief. <laughs> I feel so much better. So it was just the 24-hour bug. Actually, more like a nine-month bug. Excuse me? Andrea, you're pregnant. Let's back up to the part about the sex freak. You know what, man? You obviously got some kind of problem with me, don't you? Huh? Right now's your chance. Make your move. Come on. Don't. Guys, I'm not gonna hit you, man. You're Guys. like a brother to me. I'm not gonna do it. You have to. No, I don't have to. But if you feel like you want to hit me, why don't you go ahead? All right. Did you two sleep together? No. And why should I believe you? Because it's the truth. Look, I hate you both. Never talk to me again. I can't deal with this. Why are you so mad at me? Because you make me mad. You know what? I have to go work on my speech. No. <sighs> oh, you're hurting me! You're gonna listen to me. Ah! Donna! Donna! No, God! Francis! Oh, baby! Oh, my God! Oh, look what they did to her, Francis! Oh, oh. Check this out. Scott. Scott. Scott! Put that! Anyway, you might be asking yourself, what in the hell is Avril dressed as? Oh yeah. For this? Well, if you didn't watch, what? one, our TikTok, or two, our summer camp series, what episode was that for? Oh, oh. on theme, <laughs> Ernest Scared Stupid. Yes, Ernest Scared Stupid, where I had the realization that this ridiculous and uh, crazy pizza costume was reused in two films that I watched. Uh, a lot as a child, men at work, and uh, Ernest. Ernest Scared Stupid. Yeah. What's going on here? Mind your own business, son. Okay. Thank you, sir. You've seen too much. And so here you are as Antonio Ben. No, who's. Not Antonio Banderas. Who's the other one? Where did it, that come who's from? Who's in Men at Work? And Antonio. And who do you think that guy was? Emilio Esteban. Emilio! Emilio Esteban. <laughs> Emilio! <laughs> <laughs> Emilio! 
speaking of Gloria Estefan, mm -hmm. so this movie starts. Oh yeah. And it is a Apollo Abdul, Apollo Abdul. Paula Abdul. Like who? Janet Jackson. Paula Abdul. Paula Abdul Jesus. in my show. We're not gonna pay those kind of salaries. Gloria Estefan music video yep. starring a red-headed white girl. Wrong. You are. It was Dirty Dancing. I was like, "What you movie is are this?" Are let into the deep end. Yeah. There is no indication of what is happening. All you know is this movie is called Teen Witch, and here we go. And what is what is this? What's happening? It's and it really was like Dirty Dancing music video, sexy, sultry. I mean, I knew it was going to be something. Fan, right? Like, you know, lots of um, scarves in the wind. You yeah. Know? Sexy Paint with all in the, the scarves in the wind. No, that's Mamma Mia. Oh, I thought that was Pocahontas. Well, oh, of course. Oscar winning scarf wow. work. Wow, we're gonna need like a translator for this episode <laughs> because it's very, it's like, yes, mm, and. Yeah. But like, <laughs> yeah. the we full finish each other's mm, sand castles. <laughs> Seagulls in the sand, can you hear, hear my, my prayer? Seagulls in the sand, can you hear my prayer? This movie broke us. <laughs> Apparently. Because that's how this movie feels. Oh, it's yeah. It's a smattering of scenes. They don't connect. Um, there's not much of a plot. It's loose. It's loose. It's also sort of the plot of The Craft and Wish Upon, by yes. the way. Yes, yes. She has, this isn't a horror movie, so she doesn't have to get, like, her comeuppance at the end. No, she gets it together at the end. So it's more like, oh, I wish this, and then I realized I needed to earn it, or I wish this for someone else. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah. I want money. No, no, oh, no, I want my, my teacher, teacher to be able to win to the live. lottery yeah, or whatever. Yeah, exactly. So, but it was a similar, like, t you know what teen girls want? They want to be popular. Yep. They want their hair to have a blowout. Yeah. They want the sexy um, senior guy the to like guy them. The hot guy to like them. And clothes. Yeah. Well, and like, wait, right, unlike the craft, she didn't have, you know, a, an abusive stepdad. Right, there or... it wasn't a, well, I mean, okay, so speaking of Bewitched. Okay. You're looking very pretty. <laughs> I know, Daddy, this is your favorite color. Mm -hmm. No, this is my favorite daughter. Dick Sargent shows up. Speaking of bad Darrens. I mean, there was two Darren Stevens, right? Dick York, Dick Sargent. Yeah, right, as if we wouldn't notice. He is the the worst of the Darrens. Yeah. Dick York, Dick Sergeant, Sergeant York. Wow, that's weird. Dick Sergeant, Dick York, Sergeant York. How weird. From Wayne's World. Oh, I don't remember. Sergeant York. It's like weird. The sniper, World War One sniper, that was like famous, and then Gary Cooper played him in the movie. No. Sergeant York. I don't. Mm -mm. Historical figure, Sergeant. Right. Sergeant I mean, I, I, I get it. I just don't know. <laughs> anyway. I'm sorry. I just keep thinking every time I turn, yeah. these little red curls come. And mm -hmm. I feel like maybe I could repurpose this wig at some point. Yeah. Uh, if we just got some little lollipops. Oh, yeah. Hi, my name's Cletus. <laughs> I would like that a lot. Yeah. Kill the Malaysian Prime Minister. Hey there, Derek. My name is little Cletus. I'm just a regular kid who wants you to know the real truth about child labor laws, okay? Sergeant Dick York shows up and is her dad. And In this very prom night to Hello Mary Lou, I, like minus the demonic carousel horse, everything I mean, else was no, the same. There was lots of carousel horses. Oh, there were. Yeah, that was the other thing. That's true. They just weren't in the room. They just, you know, she wasn't giving them a finger job. Every, right. Finger bang? It was like a mouth fingering. No. I, I don't know. Anyway, um, they didn't come alive and sure. she didn't ride them. No. But um, no, I mean, if Dick Sargent and his daughter in this film had started making out, I like would not have been surprised. Yeah. Dad. Oh, come on, kitten. Why the long face? That outfit your mother bought you looks great on you. You look beautiful. Your mother and I thought we were the best looking couple at our prom. Hold me, Daddy. I 
would have been surprised, but I wouldn't have said that doesn't make sense. I would have said, I mean, yeah, that kind of makes sense, but wow. wow. Let's go back to The Girl. Take it back. Yeah. Teen Witch. Yes, Teen Witch, starring, I don't know her name. I didn't write it down. Great. She isn't really in anything, she but I saw really her. She isn't really in anything. And I was like, oh my God, is that the girl from True Beverly Hills? She looks like the girl from True Beverly Hills. Yeah. And then I was like... Who's now in Rilo, Riley, Kylo, Ren, she's in a band now. Kylo, oh. Riley, Riley. I think those are Star Wars names. No, oh, I know. <laughs> it's, it's somewhere in there, though. God. Riley, Rock and Riley. Rilo. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it starts and she's having a wet dream about yes. uh, uh, Brad. Uh, Brad. All you think about is Brad, the red hot lover. Brad, the great. Oh, Brad. Oh, Brad. I mean, okay, so we got to break down Richie. Oh, God. Richie, get out of there, you little pinhead. <laughs> Touch me and die, lady. This little brother. So it's, I mean, it's wild stuff is happening. Yeah. She wakes up out of her wet dream mm -hmm. and there's little brother Richie yeah. and he is making every choice available to humanity. Brad, kiss me, darling. Oh, I love to feel your arms around me. What happened to this child actor? Okay, so I looked it up. Okay, great. Because I was like, this, I mean, what on earth? Yeah. These had to be choices he was making. I have to imagine. I don't know why, but I know that for a fact. Right? <laughs> oh, I love it. It's great, really. <laughs> no one's coming to your sweet 16 party, Louise. I love that, like, you can tell this was some nerdy child actor yeah. that just was so into it. And he did make the choices. And you know what? The movie's better for it. Oh, yeah. It needs, like, 100% more Richie. Yes. You think you're hot stuff because you went to a dance. Dream on. Nobody wants to date you because you're a dog. A dog. So his name is Joshua John Miller. Oh, Which okay. is confusing because his last name in the movie is also Miller. And oh. then I was confused and I was like, is his name Joshua John? And then they can, mm. turns out, no, it's Joshua John Miller. <laughs> and he it, he didn't do much, but oh. he's in um, this wild uh, Dennis Hopper, Chris Glover movie called River's Edge, which you wouldn't like, but okay, it's, great. It was, it's weird. Okay. <laughs> if that means anything to you and you're intrigued, it's weird. Um, and I like it. He's in this very bad alien abduction movie oh. called Communion okay. that Christopher Walken is in. Oh. There were wolves in the closet, wolves in the basement, wolves all over the place. They eat gigantic hamburgers and they drink cold beers for the baseball games on the TV and the bags of the potato chips that are big enough to feed a horse. Based on a Whitley Strieber novel, he wrote like a bunch of alien abduction novels and I think claims to have been abducted. <laughs> And I think were they human or non-human? You know, Whitley Strieber Biotics, was watching was, was watching that that, that Congress yes. congressional hearing. Yes. He was biologics. That's biologics. What, yeah. He was DVRing that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human. He's in that random fucking movie that's weird, but not good. But okay. it's weird. But so he's in two weird movies and this weird yeah. movie. No, there's more. Oh, okay, great. But there's more. <laughs> oh my God. And there's more? He's in Near Dark, the Catherine Bigelow vampire movie. And he's in, um, okay, at me. He's in my favorite Halloween movie, which is Halloween 3, Season of the oh. Witch. Oh, sorry. Your favorite Halloween franchise movie. That's correct, sir. I thought um, you were saying your ha favorite. No, 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 no. Um, everyone um, hates it Great. because uh, they tried to do something that wasn't Michael Myers mm. and everyone was like, boo, we hate it. Uh, but I kind of love it and it's really weird. You've got to at least, please, for God's sake, please stop it. There's no more time. You've got to, please stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Cool. Did you see that um, there was a bidding war and they're rebooting Halloween's franchise again, I guess? Wait, but they already did. I, just, I know. I don't, just, I don't know, Avril. I don't know what to tell you. But they just. I know. 
It was between A24 and someone else, and A24 apparently lost. I read one article that said that they won, and then I saw another one that said that they lost. I think if A24 got it, I would be moderately More interested. interested. Also, I'm like, I thought we did this. I thought we closed that chapter. It's been, um, you know, two years since the last one came out. So. I thought it just came out. Maybe last year. I don't know. I didn't I watch know. those David Gordon Green ones. That's the, it wasn't Jamie Lee Curtis in it. And it was like, yeah. it's about generational trauma. Trauma. You know, generational trauma. Generational trauma. Generational trauma. Yeah. Trauma. 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 The trauma. There anyway. was three of them. Wow. They made a trilogy. Oh, okay, great. Anyway, he's in a lot of my weirdly favorite movies um somehow he what's happening yeah joshua john, john miller Ma, wow what a generic name right maybe the three most generically namey names yeah all strung together yeah brad brad so yeah he reads her diary uh and well, he's, it starts and he's under her bed eating cake i his his entire character motivation is food food how you think about this food? And he said, oh, that's all you're going to give me? I'm going to take every last I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to color in all those lines. Every detail. I'm coloring outside the lines. Yep. I don't care. <laughs> Touch me and die, lady. Yep. I'm not going to wash my hair or bathe through the entire filming of this. <laughs> it seems... <laughs> But the emphasis is that he's putting on words yep. and the way he is saying things is so memorable. Yeah. Obviously, we can play by yes, the Rocky yes. Horror. Yes, I was telling that Brian about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brad. Brad. Oh, Brad. Dr. Scott. Oh, oh Brad. Brad. <laughs> Janet. Oh, Brad. Rocker. Janet. Brad. Rocker. Janet. Oh, Brad. Rocker. Oh, I love to feel your arms around me. Anyway, so yeah, he reads her diary and gets sticky honey all over it or whatever. And so then it gets stuck to her homework assignment. This asshole teacher. I was totally hit. Yes, oh indeed. Miss Miller. <laughs> Do you think it was because he was closeted? He or? seemed to teach... Every subject? Every subject. <laughs> Sometimes he was talking about English. In high school? Poetry, science. Math? Science? Philosophy. Like, he was the teacher. The teacher. It was as if it was a schoolhouse. You yeah. know, and there was just yeah. like, all the grades. And right. All... Yeah, this was, you know, third grade or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's very bizarre. Yeah. I was getting gay vibes I for sure. I mean, like, if it turned out, because this movie honestly doesn't have a plot. So if it turned out that he was a warlock. Oh. Into it. No. Give me some conflict. Sure. Because those bitchy girls were giving me nothing. I mean, I love them because yeah. they were fucking bitchy girls, but like they weren't giving me any actual. That's fair. It's not really a. a There's no driving. A conflict climax no. type <laughs> momentum. Plot. It's more of just a. And then the lessons we learned along the way. We'll talk about the lessons. Sure. Because by the end, I, anyway, we'll get there. We'll talk about it. But yes, major crush and and it was very Tina Belcher uh, vibes of like, oh sure, you know, erotic fiction of the classmate. This was giving real sixteen candles to me. Okay, sure. Because he looked kind of like Jake Ryan. He was very handsome. He gave, he gave me Tom Cruise vibes. Guess what? What? He did a stint on Melrose Place. Oh my god, I love it! Because of course he did. Billy! Oh. Oh. Sleep with my wife? All right, look, this isn't the place. Answer the question! Yeah, I am. I love her, okay? There's nothing you can do about- oh. Billy, stop it! Uh. Oh, damn! Somebody call an ambulance! He's also in Son-in-Law, the Polly Shore movie that I watched a lot as like the asshole boyfriend. Oh, um, he got typecasts. He's that guy. His character is very Freddie Prince Jr. and she's the man. All that. Yeah, because you know who's the man in She's the Man. Amanda Bynes. Well, yes, that is that is the correct answer. But it, no, it's Channing Tatum is her love interest. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, yes. Uh, um, yeah, Freddie Prince Jr. and and she's all that. He's real himbo. Oh, I play football, but I really I'm emotional and I want to go to college to study liberal arts or, you know, whatever. Did he want to study? What did he want to do? He just wanted to be known for more than football, yeah? 
He had, he wanted to go to a liberal arts school, I think was what it was. The guy in this? No. Okay. Sorry. I'm No, I'm sorry. I was like, what, did, did I miss that? No, no. In this, he just had a brain. You know, it was like, I'm more than just football. Okay. I mean, you can't, I can't do it, the impersonation justice okay. of Richie, but it's just um, so performative. You morning paper. I took the liberty of ironing your homework. Alien. Yes. You know, it's you so much. You know what, much... it's very old soul in a tiny yeah. chubby kid's body. And yes. there's something that's really entertaining to me about like, that. I wish this movie had ended with the discovery that he too, when he turned 16, would become Ooh, 18 oh. warlock or witch, perhaps. Yeah. And that, and that would, and then everything, it would, you know, because I feel like the lore of the witches. A little loose. Was a little loose. Yeah. And they seem to be eternal. And that's me. You're kidding. Then why did I get the amulet again? Because it belongs to you. You belong to it. Yeah. Or or reincarnated. But they look the same. But then look the same. Unclear. But her mom, unclear. does it skip generations? I, you know, we don't get a lot of answers. No, but we, oh right, so we should talk about. So, asshole Brad, maybe oh. not as big of an asshole as we thought. Maybe it's more the girlfriend or whatever. Um, He's just never been challenged. He's sure. A big dummy. Look, you're not phony. You don't play games with people to make them like you more. That's really important to me. I could have used maybe a, a locker room scene Ooh, with him. Yeah. yeah, there was a lot of time spent in the girl's locker room. We will talk about yeah. it. Yeah. And not any of the like, boys. That musical number. Oh boy, okay, so that comes out of nowhere. Hey cheerleaders, I got the new cheer. I like boys. You know what it reminded me of? Weed Thumb? Oh, sure. We're Where just all of a sudden you're like, Yeah. Oh. It was giving um bring it on to me. Okay. Just like kind of like you know, sure. cheesy, cheery. Yes. I mean, well, that girl comes in and the line of dialogue that she has to sell is, I've got our new cheer, cheerleaders. Ah, here's this boombox. She's selling the shit out of it. Hey, cheerleaders, I got the new cheer. So fab. True. Because she likes boys. I, I mean, where is the drag number to this? Do a drag. Wow, yes, but honestly, yes. Would it surprise you if I told you that this movie was just an aping off of, it was just basically, they were like, let's let's make Teen Wolf, but with a girl. Is Teen Wolf so a musical? So Teen Witch. No, it oh. is not. Oh, it's okay. just basically a sports comedy, but the joke, the, is that he's a wolf, the high a concept werewolf. is that he turns into a werewolf. On his 13th birthday or so? Is it a 13th year? Ah! Gay I don't think it's analogy, a, no, no, I don't recall that okay. being a thing. It was interesting, though, to think about, like, okay, so we've got the two that are movies that are essentially the same point or whatever, you know, Teen Wolf, Teen Witch, right? Yeah. And when it's a boy, what's his goal? To win the basketball game. Mm. And when it's a girl, what's her goal? To get the boy at the dance. And it was sort of like, oh, that's interesting. And I wonder yeah. if they made this movie and it was like a girl that wanted to just win, you know, the the big game. Sure. What that would look like. On her volleyball team? On her volleyball, volleyball. team. Volleyball. Hey, how come Angela gets to talk to the boys all day? And we have to play volleyball. I don't know. I mean, because I really did like, I mean, I love that it's a musical. I love that yep. there's costumes. Yep. You know, I like all the girly stuff. I was into it. But it was just sort of like, huh. Yeah, that is interesting that it was, you know, it does not pass the Bechtel test. Probably not. Probably. Uh, no, her and Zelda Rubenstein talk about witchy stuff quite a bit. Well, that's true. Should we talk about? Oh, my God. This is all over the place. There's so much to get into. I do want to talk briefly about the breakfast table. Okay. And Dick Sargent constantly looking like a serial killer. What? Is that just his look? I think that's just his look, because I remember when he replaced Dick York, I was scared. A few short days? One short day, if you like. I was upset. I was dramatized. Like, I Dramatiz was like, 
I was I like, to... who is this man and what happened to Dick? No, Hewitt? but you weren't dramatized. You were traumatized. I, that was an actual traumatization. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey, if I hadn't grabbed that bird by the tail, I would have fallen off that roof head first. That dumb bird saved my life. I knew there was something I didn't like about that bird. <laughs> and so, yes, he um, has that look. And he's so much older than the mom. Yeah. So anyway, um, they're in the kitchen and Richie is just roasting pop tarts on skewers? Thank you. What was that? He just had a skewer, skewers multiple. of multiple pop tarts on multiple like beef kebab skewers. I just thought I should mention to it. To flumb, to like because char broil? Things? I just thought it should be. I did pick up on that and I was like, what the fuck is this? And then, and then you move promptly on so you don't have time. But like, what? Well, this is my favorite daughter. It has better off dead vibes. We're just like weird, sort of surreal, over the top things are kind of just happening in the background. He never goes outdoors, just sits in that house, crochets all day long. The Chapmans had their exchange students stay with them for six months. He practically became a son to Jules and Irene. Did you like this movie as a child? Did you watch this? I movie? didn't watch it as a child. Oh, interesting. Okay. I like this movie. Because, like, it oh, just, it does, it feels a bit meandery at, at times. Sure, sure, sure. I get that. This could have fit in the. Oh, I definitely camp. would have watched it. I just didn't for sure. Sure, sure. It just sure, wasn't sure. on my radar. Okay. Yeah. But if, like, this would fit in this year's summer camp. Uh, yeah, yeah. theme I felt like you know it's, it's oh, a similar lots of similar vibes oh right so Brad runs her off oh, wait, the road I'm sorry we didn't talk about the musical number enough oh, okay fine I mean I like boys how does it go I like boys right wasn't that what it was I like boys there wasn't much to the song but those dancers were oh selling. they were having a great time and they're coming out of lockers yep and they're doing silly vaudeville jokes. Yep. Yes. Oh my and, god. Oh my god. It was so stupid at the end. They're you know, like, boop boop. Or, yeah, we're walking. And then, oh look, it's our, it was very silly. It came out of nowhere. Nowhere. And, uh, you know, it was um, cheese. Yes. I like boys. I like boys. But in a way that I like. Because yeah. it's weird, quirky cheese. Yeah, yeah. Richie coated it's, this whole movie. It's a blue. It's a Stilton. It's cheese. you know, it's not just like American cheese. No, no, no. It's no. a it's a stinky cheese. More mm -hmm. Hello Mary Lou references. Yes. Costume trunk. Yeah. When we meet Marsha Wallace. Yeah. Her her, her theater, theater theater teacher. Yes. Who you probably you didn't watch the Bob Newhart show, right? No. Her Newhart on Nick at Night. So she was his uh, like sassy assistant lady mm. and she's just so memorable like that's what I sure like, her face is so yeah. memorable but also I looked it up because I was like but she's I her voice something's going on her voice screen credits oh. include just voice uh-huh Edna Krabappel from The Simpsons fever when you hold me tight fever ha! kill me Mrs. Rappel in the Rugrats okay Mrs. Beaver on the Angry Beavers. The Angry Beavers. Remember the Angry Beavers? Because wow. I do. Wow. That show was great. Yeah. It I knew mean, what it was doing. I haven't watched but it like, since it, I was it, six years old, but yes. It, I mean, it was called the Angry Beavers. Right. It got it. I love that show. It understood the yeah. assignment. Yeah. So she was Mrs. Wheeler on Captain Planet, and she was Mrs. Kavanaugh on Darkwing Duck. So I don't know what was happening. Yeah. She was just the person to call when you needed a Mrs. I love it. But I thought that was funny. Yeah. But yeah, Angry Beavers. And, oh, you didn't watch Darkwing Duck, right? Yeah, I think I did. Oh, it's so good. I didn't like it as much, but it's I just did Batman, watch it. But with Right. Da, da. I, I didn't. I don't it like was... Batman. I would watch it in between the shows that I like. Bold I think. statement. Don't like Batman. I just don't. I've tried so many times. That's fine. That's like, fine. Like the closest I've come to liking it is Batman and Robin. You still haven't seen the Keaton ones, right? Yes, I have now. Okay. But then you'll... <laughs> Actually, I haven't seen... Batman Returns. The Riddler one with uh, oh, no. Jim Carrey. Don't watch it. Okay. okay. Batman Forever. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah, okay. Anyway, yeah. so Marsha Wallace yeah. is the theater teacher and they're digging through the costume oh, right. trunk. And, and then, oh I my God, like, where'd this necklace come from? Watch out, girl. That costume trunk's going to try and oh, yeah, murder it's definitely, you. And it was not Hello, Mary Lou. So I, it was okay. But Ugh. that movie is great, by the way. Fucking great. Iconic. I keep trying to... We're really going off the rails. I keep trying to find a movie that like reaches that level and those highs. Mm. And I haven't found it yet, but I'll let you know when I do. Great. Because, wow, wow. It's a journey. One and a gurney. My favorite movies of all time. Yes. 
Jeep. He seems to be a terrible driver, but oh, yeah. um, so yes, he runs her off the road and then in his Mustang. Was it a Mustang? Pretty sure. It didn't look cool. It looked like a Trans Am or something. Well, it was the period of like the 80s mm. where um, all of the cars were shit and they looked shit. Okay. It might not have been a Mustang. Okay. It might have been like a Ford uh, who knows what. Right. Like the Mustang had that moment in the late, mid to late 90s mm. where it was like really cool again and it was all curved. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Re and I was like, all I wanted was a Mustang in like teal green. Okay. They made it. And I had a little model car version of it. Aww. And I painted myself in the teal green. It was, yeah. Wow. I wanted Steve McQueen's Mustang from Bullet. Oh, okay, fun. That was my Mustang Great. fantasy. Yeah. Anyway, he runs her off the road and leaves. He offers to pick her, he offers to take her and whatever. And she's like, no, I'm fine. Can I take you home? No. Brad, no. Um, you don't, you don't have to. I know I don't, but I'd like to. Bradley, she said she's okay, let's go. But then his dick makes the decision and le he leaves because I, girlfriend is like, was like, come on, let's just leave. Just leave her, who cares, Brad? It's fine. So they leave. So she wanders into, I mean, what seems like a normal street. And she, right. the only place that she can go. It was go, faded. Yeah, it was, it was faded. The only place she could go is, what was her name? Madam? I don't know, it was Zelda Rubinstein. Yeah. Who's the actress. She's, She's great. She's uh, famously from the Poltergeist series. Mm. You know, this house is clear. That's her. This house is clean. This house is clear. Anyway, you wouldn't like the Poltergeist no. movies, but that's not, I wouldn't not recommend for those for you. But I will say, and this is also not a recommendation for you, but I will say, I just watched this movie called Anguish Ooh. with Zelda Rubenstein. Ah. And um, I don't, wow, it's a horror movie mm. and you wouldn't like it. But wow, if you're looking for something that's an experience that you will be forever potentially changed from. Wow. It was, um, and I don't want to, it was something. Was it anguish? Almost. <laughs> but like not in a saw gross out mm. kind of way. I mean, there was some gross stuff. It was, it's a lot of things. It's an undiscovered gem of a horror movie. If you're at all interested in that situation, go check out anguish. It was, it, it really, it really, it really, I can't describe it. Wow. Well, that's a big deal. There's a disclaimer at the front of the movie and I went, ha ha, yeah, oh wow. Oh, wow. I think that's... What's I, the disclaimer? It's like, if you feel ill or are having an out-of-body experience during the film, please feel free to go to the lobby to contain yourself. And I was like, <laughs> marketing. And then I was like, no, but like, wow. There's like some hypnosis stuff going on. It felt like if Boonwell made like a 80s slasher. It was wow. some wild stuff. Wow. So, you know. Cool. Kept me on my toes. Anyway, Zelda Rubenstein is like, oh, by the way, you're a witch. And also, I'm a witch. And also, we live over and over forever. I guess we remember, or she remembers, but I don't remember. And we're not. There was clearly a lot of scenes cut. And here's this book of us both. The new faces of 18. Oh my God. 15, what was it? 17, 1649. 1649. Or I was like, you can't chop your mama up in Massachusetts, Massachusetts right? No, you can't chop your mama up in Massachusetts is a far cry from New York. I was really waiting for both Paul Lind again. Obviously. And uh, Eartha Kitt. Obviously. Obviously. Ernest Did we stupid. plan this? Oh my God. <laughs> a joke literally three people will get. Yep. <laughs> Anyway, yes, I really died at the new faces of 19, six, or 1649 1649, or ah, yeah. new faces. I was like, oh, oh my, my God. God. So yeah, um, also your witch, also you live on and on, and oh, good thing you found and that. And the necklace will find you. because and of that, but Zelda Rubenstein's almost out of her powers because yeah. she's older. I don't know. I didn't know, and I guess they just keep finding she, maybe each other. Maybe she mismanaged it, right? Mismanaged she kept time, trying, you know. Uh, she was so in love with Rex. I mean. Are you there? <laughs> Wonderful witch. She ordered Patrick Bateman, 80 sh schmucky, like what, what, like it just, there was a few of those where like doors opened and I was like, what? When she went on the date with J.J. Abrams, but it wasn't J.J. Abrams. 
the nerdy guy that that um, oh yeah he was just like Bye. and I was like oh and she's going on a date with JJ Abrams he was also giving me very Adams Family Values oh um nerdy guy like young Eugene Levy ouch my balls yeah it is ouch my balls that's what I was gonna say ten things I hate about you guys. Yeah. What's his name? Crumb holds. Oh. If that's not it, it's very close. Great. It's at my balls, <laughs> obviously. My balls. I forgot about that date. You know what else he yeah. was giving me? Yeah. Was, um, uh, you take your damn hands off her. Crispin Glover? I guess. I think he was giving, hey, Eugene. It's Eugene. You're a great picture. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Ish. maybe. Ish. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm very excited to talk about the Harvest Dance. Hey, kids, welcome to your Harvest Dance. Because okay. why isn't this a thing? Sure. That ever, oh, the Harvest Dance. Yes. And DJ Romando, who seemed like, you know, Danny Elfman on a 20-year bender. <laughs> I'm Romando, your favorite radio DJ. Listen, you're not here to have fun, you know. If you don't dance, we shoot at your feet. Whoa! Hey, everyone, it's your favorite DJ Romando. He was like real, given real George Carlin in Outrageous Fortune. I'm living down in Mexico because I yeah. can't deal with, yes. with the society sure. vibes. Yeah. And he only had like two scenes, but I was like, that guy's got some stories to tell. All right, guys, grab your wallets because here comes a slow song. Sure. He looked, you know, like he'd seen it all and done it all. <laughs> it was a lot. But anyway, I, was, I really was like, DJ Romando. <laughs> What's happening here? I'm Romando, your favorite radio DJ. Um, there was a really weird line. She's okay. talking to Brad. Brad? Oh, Brad. Oh, Brad. Sorry, it's hard. Okay, so she's talking to Brad. Can I speak freely to you? Sure, of course. I have a little brother. I know about men. <sighs> I've got a little brother. I know about men? Oh, yeah, I don't know. One of those tropes of like, oh, I know how to shoot a gun because my dad wanted a son. You know, it was like, it, oh, was, it you... was like that. But sure. it was like, don't worry. Or like when people are like, don't worry, I'm here for women's rights. I have a daughter. A daughter. And you're like, what? <laughs> it, it, like, it felt like weird. Yeah. I, like, I know about men because I have a little Cause, brother. Because, yeah. What? I have a father. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a little brother. I know about men. <sighs> I don't know what to do with that. But... Are you sure? Yeah, sure. I guess she was saying, like, I know that guys are gross and because my brother's gross. But he know. was gross in a pig pen way. Well, right, not in, like, a <laughs> gonna, schmucky yeah. rapist way. So I don't know. Right, but, so then anyway, she starts to learn that she does have powers, in fact, because... She wish um, them. Yeah, she said it was very clueless. You know, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Fine. Hey, where are you going? She uh, has to take the wheel because he has disappeared. Give me one kiss, I'll be nice. I wish you would just leave me alone. And right. it's just his glasses he, remain. He um, is never heard from again, and for all we know, is living in purgatory. That is true. I was just assuming that the glasses would get wet, and that then the spell would wear off. Just be careful, because water will ruin most of your little juvenile tricks. Well, she finds that out because she goes home. Brother Richie is oh, right. massaging a pizza. Oh, he's making a pizza, but he's doing all sorts of things. But it was... um. It was a lot. That pizza was... I mean, the things that he is doing with food. Perhaps genius. Strong. Perhaps insane. Choices. Strong choice. You think you're hot stuff because you went to a dance. Dreamer, nobody wants to date you because you're a dog. A dog! <gasps> oh, you think you're all hot because you got asked out on a date? Just <laughs> every single moment he's on screen, he burns. Yes. You are standing up. I'm a dog. <laughs> Louise, what'd you do to me? It's very gnomey in that way. Yeah. And I really wish he was in more of the movie. I get it. I get it. Because he does disappear for a large part. And then there's this like unexplained thing later where he's just like perfectly behaved. And was that a wish on her part? I think, or... Well, because so she turns him into a dog and yeah. his hair has never looked cleaner. And he's like a cute little pup. Look at me! Oh my, look at all this hair on me! I even smell like a dog. Oh, Louise. I gotta get out of here! I forgot about this. This was 
terrifying. Sure. Because I didn't know. Because he goes, he goes, mom hates dogs. She's going to give me away and send me to the pound. And then I'm never going to have a home and I'm going to be lost forever. It was giving the dog who saved Christmas. Like, mm. um, very that. So then she takes the dog and puts the dog in a fully ready to go bubble bath. Yeah, that was just happened substantially there. And I was like, she's going to drown the dog. <laughs> then suddenly limbs come yeah. out of the water and yeah. I thought, oh my God, was her mom taking a bath? And she just put the dog <laughs> and, whoa, what happened? Like, I, I was like, sure. what's yeah. happening? It did seem like someone was in the bath that the dog what? was going on top of as opposed to the dog whoosh, turned into Maybe a human again. a sound effect or something because yeah. I was like, oh my God, what's yeah. happened? Oh, okay, now I see what's going uh, yeah, on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, quick commercial break and we will be back with more wishes. Wi wishes. Witches. More witchy wishes. <laughs> wow, I wasn't planning on doing a witch, a witch laugh, laugh, but, but it, it came out. It just, yeah. just came out. Spontaneous. Okay. Well, I was wondering if their gym uniforms were simply just lilac bodysuits. Um, oh. I found that to be... I don't remember them being in gym. Well, they, they're in the locker room. Oh, the room, locker room. You know, and they're constantly right. in these, you know, Pur light purple yeah. leotards. And I don't know about you, but that was not Your... what our gym uniforms looked like, thank God. Sure. At some point I thought, oh, it's just the cheerleaders. Right. But then later, her and her friend Polly, who we have not talked about, by the way. Who's great. Who's fabulous. Love Polly. I feel like this is the inception of Broad City or something. Ooh. I don't know. Something about her whole vibe. I was like, Polly. Yes. Yes. So yeah. like, this is what happened, like Broad City is what happened to Polly when she grew up and moved. I love that. You know? Yeah. To the big city. Yeah. I like it. Are you kidding? I'm so embarrassed. Look at how funky he is. I will never be hip. This reminded me of a lot of different movies that we've watched in this genre. Yeah. And the school stuff was all weird, right? We have like sex ed and condom. 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 It's called a condom. Oh my god. Donna, I can explain. There's nothing to explain. I understand. I understand everything. Donna. Donna, Donna, wait. Is this an umbrella? Woo! Oh. Honda, Honda, Honda. And then the teacher, she gets her wish that or she has this voodoo doll. Again, voodoo dolls, right? Very witches of Eastwick. Oh my Eastwick. god, that's right. There's a voodoo doll that she That goes in the washing machine. Because the asshole teacher who teaches all the subjects goes through her purse. Birth control. <laughs> all in their place. Just thinking about it anyway. And she has birth control? Oh yeah. I was like, oh. I just like, I didn't. I wasn't expecting that, one. Because then. He that calls really, her. Well, that really raises the stakes for later when they go to the condemned building surrounded by sunflowers. Brad? Yeah. And suddenly we're in a different music video. It's like a guest jeans ad. Yes, it is. And it really seems like they are going to fuck. Oh, yeah. Fully. Fully. And so I was like, oh, and we've already established, like, she's on birth control. Safe sex, great. Yeah, and condom. And condom. 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 And then, no, they just made out. Well, I mean, as far as we see. Well, she says later. He took the long way and then he kissed you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was just that scene is shot like a porn. It was. And it's weird. It is. That scene is, there's a lot of scenes that are just like fantasies. Yes. But then it turns out they're real. Yeah. Yeah, right. Obviously, the first the scene is shot fantasy, but so weird. it was shot the same way. He like hoo hoo's up the stairs, like chase me, chase me. Yeah. And then she takes off her shoes, and her feet are filthy, and is secreting up the stairs. It was like an M.C. Escher. It was. Like, and it was, it was like, like the end of Labyrinth. Uh, and I was like, yes. where are we? And yeah. what is happening? Yeah, it was weird. That was weird for me. Oh, but yeah, let's talk about the friend and oh. the rap. 
Oh my God. Well, okay, so there's, there's rap early on. What the heck? We know that we are no fools cause we're getting stuck with the high school blues. Boy whose name I don't recall. Yeah. Ra this scene is so great. So this is the scene that you've seen on YouTube that's famously, you know, ever, oh, that, that's oh. top that, the top that scene. Yeah. Top that. I'm hot and you're not. But if you want to hang with me, I'll give it one shot. Top that. They are terrible at rapping. Yeah. He sucks. He's awful. His friends are super white and yep. it's just like very oh, bad, right? And they keep cutting back to the girls. God, they're so hip. I'll never be like that. Like they're just swooning over this. Look at how funky he is. And they're terrible. Yeah. And then she comes in and schools him. Yeah. And is great. Yeah. Supersonic, idiotic, disconnected, not respected. Who would ever really want to go and top that? I thought. She, I thought she was ten times better. Right. Easily. I was like, oh. Yeah. I was. I was like, oh wait, she's she can fucking do it. Yeah. 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 The guys were awful, unbearable. Top that. Embarrassingly so. Yes. And I just watched Rappin'. Oh no. Starring Mario Van Peebles. Oh. All right, check it out. I'm gonna call you out, sucker. I'm gonna make you dance. With the Hood Brothers. Two of a kind. Very fresh. And oh so fine. We jump over freaks in a single bound. Starting trouble all over town. Rappin' Hood. And easy A. And it was also embarrassing. That sounds like a fake thing. It happened. Sounds like a 30 rock. Canon, uh, Canon Pictures produced it. Oh boy. Is yeah. Like Nick Cannon? No. <laughs> Can, you don't know about Canon? No. Oh, you gotta watch the documentary. Oh. oh, it's so great. So they were like the schlockiest, most over the top 80s mm. studio, and they would go to can and all these film festivals and stuff and they would just make up posters oh fun and they'd sell the whole movie just on the poster and great. then they'd make it dirt cheap and like whatever and oh it's great cool and you gotta watch and great. then you gotta watch some canon movies okay because, holy shit okay. anyway what were we talking Rapping. about top that top that Woo! top that no <laughs> they were so lame <laughs> goes all over the place. I mean, they go to a Shauna concert and right. get her jacket. Which was so weird. I've worn this jacket to Since every concert I've my ever done. It's my jacket. lucky jacket, but here, you take it. Well, and I was, it was like, witchy. I mean, it was witchery. But I was like, that's kind but of But that's kind of shitty. I want you to have this jacket. I've had it since my first album. It's my lucky jacket. Please? Okay, sure, Shauna. I mean, I was excited because this is the point in the movie when finally she puts some conditioner in her hair and it's real full and she's looking great. Makeover, makeover. Excited about it. You thinking what I'm thinking? Makeover! Makeover, 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 makeover. makeover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the second half of the movie, now she's the most popular girl in school. I'm gonna be All the Louise posters that were all over the school. Oh yeah, it was crazy. Like, what is this? She's not like running for class Office president. Office or something. prom. Just Louise. Whatever. It was just, Louise. Yeah, Louise, fan. Louise. It was fan posters. I mean, it's magic. But I was just like, what is this? Yeah. What, yeah. what is this? I mean, but I love that. It's surreal craziness. It was very surreal and crazy. Yeah. Because yes, now she's the most popular girl in the world. That's not how the song goes, but it was that was the lyrics. I'm gonna be the most Yeah. Um, and well, this weird, f surreal fourth wall breaking of like, oh, she comes down the stairs, and she's pop, she's looking good now, and she opens the door, and the music starts blaring. <gasps> she's not ready for it. And then she opens the door, and it's like as if you know, like she was like letting in the musical, sure, or something. Like she yeah. wasn't quite ready mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to be the most popular girl in the world. Well, she's not ready. Then she sneaks out the back, and luckily he's driving by. That's later. Oh, but yes, when they're all holding Louise signs on her lawn. I mean, you know Louise. what? It had to get crazy. But not even like we love you, Louise, or just Louise. Yay, or something. You know, rah rah. Just Louise. Yeah. It's such a funny name to see it written is, out. Yeah, like yeah. I was just like, what is this? 
I think what happened with Richie was he got turned into a dog. Right. And then she had that to lord over him. Sure. So she was like, You better you, you better, better behave, behave. Shape, shape. You know, there's a lot of like I feel like things that got lost. There was a lot of scenes I think that got cut. In the rewrites, right? There's that whole scene at the beginning where the nerds show up and they're like, Good news, Louise. Well, uh, we just wanted to let you know that you're a candidate. It's in the bag. What? Uh, uh, what uh, for Latin Club president. You're a shoe in Oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, surely this That'll is play going somewhere. To something? Nope. I mean, I guess she like memorizes the spells really I was going to say maybe it's helpful for spells. But like that, I'm like picking it, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, like, that's, oh, that's pure uh, you know. projection or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, that whole thing. Oh, good news. You know, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. You're in Latin club. Louise. Louise. I prepared you a wholesome breakfast. The scene where Richie is in his bellhop outfit, serving her breakfast in bed. So weird. Where did he get the outfit? <laughs> is it magically produced? That's what I'm saying. Did she say, God, I wish my brother would serve me like I was at a hotel? Well, we didn't see it. I wish we did. I wish we did too. I really wanted Richie to be in more of this movie. And like I said, I really wanted it to end with, he's, you know, 15 going on six sure. something or whatever. And it's like, oh. oh. And he's at the dance like, huh, Brad. Hmm. All you think about is Brad, the red hot lover. Brad, the great, oh, Brad. Oh. Or something, you know, give me something. You think he, he wants yeah, sure. Brad too? Yeah, okay. Everyone wants Brad. He's Brad! He's Brad! Did you see those abs? I mean, he looked good. Yeah. But it's the big dance. Right. And Louise decides she doesn't want to be popular right. unless people really like her. She doesn't want to date Brad and unless... go to the dance with Brad because he might, it's just all a spell. But I thought this was sweet. I'm getting to my point. Oh, okay. Totally sweet. Like, they've made this big fuss about, I'm going to break the spell. Yeah. And so people will like me for me, or they won't like me. Whatever. Yeah. I'm yeah. just going to see how it goes. And this whole big thing, and she comes into the dance and looks exactly the same. Sure. So it's like, she broke the spell, but she remembered how to do her hair and makeup. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, it was just like, and they had a shot where... <laughs> It's like, bah, 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 bah. it's panning up as right. if she was she's going to be back be to old. A dork again or somewhere in between, sure, right? Sure, like, you know, sure. somewhere where yeah. uh, between the two uh, ferns. But she just looks exactly the same. And I thought that was just, they needed something, like one little thing to be like, oh, this is, she's different now. Because she looked exactly the same. Like, I thought maybe she'd even have a different dress on or something. I was like, so did she break the spell? Was there a moment where she... Should she have pulled this, like, fire sprinklers? So, yeah, see, some, it needed a little, one little thing. A big thunderstorm? Oh, no. Oh, no. And then and then Brad is like, wow. And then he's like, hey, I still... And he has, like, a little yeah. stupid line of dialogue where it's yeah. like, you know, thanks for being you, Louise. And then they make out or something. You know, sure. something. It yeah. just needed one little dramatic punch to right. be like, ah. Yeah, oh, you're so easy to talk to, Louise. And she's like, oh, that's just the... Bell. Oh. Maybe he really does like me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, they end up um, happily ever after. Yep, pan out and dance over. Unfortunately, DJ Ramondo was not at the oh, dance. Oh, yeah. I'm Ramondo, your favorite radio DJ. Listen, you're not here to have fun, you know. If you don't dance, we shoot at your feet. Whoa! I do miss bands at dances in movies. Let's make our move. And this had a very, um, come on, remember that dance I taught you? Yes, it did. Right up at now. And yeah. then they all. That was such like an 80s and 90s thing, right? Of like bands at high school dances. Well, particularly in, uh, not everyone, but a lot of 80s and 90s movies, it was bands that ended up, like real bands that they oh, got sure. that ended up, yeah. you know, being big deals. Yeah. I'm just thinking of like off the top of my head, all the movies that I like loved, you know, like. 
Clueless. Yep. Live band. Ten things I hate about you. Live band. She's all that. All that live, live band. band. Well, no. Well, Usher is the DJ. <laughs> Usher is the DJ, but that still is also something. Right, right. I mean, Usher is yeah. Usher. It's Usher. Right about now, we're gonna do that dance I taught you. Show me now. All the John Hughes movies. Yeah, it's like a you know, it's the like thing. a it's a good vibe. Yeah. Tough turf, you know. The Jim Carroll band in there. Great. <laughs> I do need to ask you a really important question. Okay, great. During the, the dirty dancing number okay, yeah. at the yep, prom. Yep, 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 yep. The winter form. Oh, one, yeah. Did you notice uh -huh. the Frosted Tips chorus boy extra that they were dancing too close? Yes. And the, I, there was like very grease. It was very grease and it was very like, oh my God, it's the luggage twink. Like he was pulling a lot of focus. <laughs> safe in Italy. <laughs> I even bought myself a journal at the airport. I've always wanted a journal. Yeah. And I was sure. like, what's going on with I mean, I family? thought they were main characters. They like were it not. was it was Greece. Like it, it was, was Greece. just and I was like, oh, uh, we're just watching oh, no. them now. Rizzo and Craterface are getting thrown out of the dam. It was it was that. But I, we had never seen But we had never seen them. And before. we never see them again. Again, that is true. <laughs> he was just really um, doing a lot of business, and no, I was, was like, "What's going yeah, on?" I was into him? it. There was a lot of like ladybugs, a lot of like yes. background or or small character parts where I was like, um, "I don't know what's going on with you, DJ Ramondo." All right, guys, grab your wallets because here comes a slow song. But I want to. <laughs> I want to know more. Tell me more. It's true. Yeah. I was like, I would watch more of most of these characters. Yeah. Especially if it was told in a more coherent way. But right. nonetheless, I really did enjoy it. And it's quick. It's a great time. It's wild stuff. You know, a little bit like, and here's a scene. And here's a scene. Sure. A little bit. Yes, know. it is. And it was particularly because it's like musical number, interlude, musical number. Uh, guess jeans ad sure i don't know yeah you know, interlude at the carousel right sure pensive moments at the carousel love that yeah is that like a was it john a, deep thoughts with with john oh, no yes but no the Jack the, Andy? the 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 well for oh sensitive yeah boys. yeah the well for sensitive boys wells for sensitive boys to wish upon confide in and reflect by the pensive, the pensive thoughts at the, the carousel. carousel. I like that a lot. Yeah. For for girls. For girls. Because they, they, they like horses. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Cause girls like horses. Girls like horses. Anyway. Yes. Um. Cheers to this wild unrepeatable yeah. piece of pop culture art. It's something. It really is something. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. So, cheers. Top that! Woo! Top that!